Hello, hello, hello. Good evening on a Thursday. How's everyone doing? And welcome to Rise with Carol Gockel. I'm Carol Gockel. I'm a confidence coach, author, speaker, change maker. And um, I'm very happy to be able to be speaking to all of you tonight. Today is the 11th episode of Rise with Carol Gockelberg. Uh, well, to be very frank, when I first started this series, I never thought that I would have actually made it this far. What I wanted to do was to create something to during the, the circuit breaker, which is the lockdown, that uh, to share something with, uh, with the audience, you know, to, to actually create a platform actually, uh, and, and a channel where I can put the spotlight on, on other women, on other female entrepreneurs, um, and then somehow it just kind of like evolved, you know, of uh, of of the ten of the ten episodes previously, nine of them uh, were were actually interviewed, and uh, one was just a little bit of sharing, and you know I thought that now with with circuit breaker is over uh, in Singapore lockdown is almost getting over, we are phasing into to normal, but uh, there's actually a new a, a different kind of of normal. Oh, hello, hello, Richard, good to see you. I, um, yes, I was saying, um, we are going to have a new normal coming in, and you know a lot of people are are seeking um, to to actually to move forward with their lives and to actually adapt to the changes. So I thought it would be a a good opportunity for me to reintroduce myself. And to be very frank, I actually forgot to to introduce myself, uh, from from the first episode, you know, until uh the. the the, the last one on on the tenth episode, um, so I just thought this would be a good opportunity for me to connect with everybody who has been very very supportive, uh, who actually tune in to listen and uh, to to listen to all the ladies, you know, the female entrepreneurs that I have uh, put in place to to actually to share their stories with you, and of course um, the 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 one that actually received the most viewership was actually the interview that I had with my with my husband and really thank you for that. And I want to be able to continue to to give more value, and I thought that this would be an opportunity for me to to share a little bit more in terms of what I what I do and why I do what I do. Hello, good evening, Carlos. Good to see you. Thank you so much for your support week after week. Yeah. So today I will be talking a little bit about confidence um, because a lot of people ask me. So what is actually confidence? What is a confidence coach? What do you do? Do you you know? Do people to, to to ladies lost their confidence in the way that they look or or or, or to live their life and then you teach them how to be confident in front of stage? What, what what exactly do you do you do? And I thought it would be a, a good opportunity for me to to address that, and uh, as well as to uh, share a little bit about about self love. Now, why I branded myself as a confidence coach? It all started actually during my my uh, teenage years. Um, growing up, I wasn't very, very confident. Part of the reason being because I was this thin, too, too, too thin, too tall, and too tan uh, teenager. Oh, okay, or, or rather, here's the term, actually, it's called twins. In between, when I was about um, 10 or 11 years old. So this awkward person, and I've, I've, I've been called names. I have got this really ugly, round glasses. On and you know really really awkward and um, so I had this nickname by my by my friends in school they call me praying mentist so um and I also walk with a bit of a hunch because being too tall I felt like you know I was I I, I couldn't fit in with my my classmates so I felt really inferior and then at the age of fifteen I I was plagued with acne during puberty. And so, because of that, I didn't feel that I was good enough, and that that kind of like led me through a downward spiral, a downward spiral in terms of self loath uh, in terms of you know being feeling unworthy, and uh, didn't think that I I, I deserve anything better. I, I didn't feel beautiful at all as well, and then so I started to to look for kind of like validation um, outside of home. You know, from friends, and also from uh, the attention of the opposite sex. 
I went for with, with, with boys. And so that was um, quite an interesting time growing up. And because not being confident in myself, I, I made a lot of wrong choices that eventually led to, led, led to kind of like my, my, my own personal downfall. Uh, if you would like to know the details, you know, I'll, I'll be able to share with you um, privately another time. But the things are because today, to be very frank, it's actually not really about me. And I like to actually to just to, to, um, to share a little bit more of my expertise, bring you some value. Okay, uh, just maybe just to answer um, some of you who are actually tuning in. Hello, hello, Yvonne. Thank you for tuning in. And Richard is saying, I need confidence. Teach me, teach me, please. I would definitely, absolutely love to. Then uh, you want to say, ah, praying mantis. Yep, that was what I was known in school, praying mantis. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you so much for your comment. And oh, Richard, thank you for, for saying that you are a beautiful, confident swan right now. Uh, I, st I still don't feel like a swan, but uh, thank you. Thank you for, for saying that. <laughs> Yeah, so if you have any um, questions, you know, feel free to interact with me on the comments below because I, I really missed that interaction when I was doing Facebook Live last year. And unfortunately, you know, I'm using Streamer right now to do a, a broadcast, so I won't be able to see who's online. But if you actually comment on the comments box below, I'd be more than happy to, actually to, to, to interact with you. Um, one of the reasons I'm using StreamYard is because it's a little bit more stable than, than Facebook Live. So that's uh, that. That's basically what it is. Um. So, what I what I did, how 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 I transformed, was uh, I I decided that I I want to be able to to feel pretty. I I, I want to be able to cure my skin of, of acne to actually to feel better about myself. So I I went into in depth research on how to actually use makeup to cover all my flaws. And how to eventually you know, take care of my skin? What kind of skin products that I should use in order to you know to to feel better about myself? And so that that kind of like become my basis and and my um my experience that I actually share with my client. So when I was at the crossroad when I was in my in my corporate job uh, about eleven years ago, I was asking myself what else? What are the things that I can do in order to to actually share my skill set with somebody. So I decided that perhaps, perhaps I can, I can do image coaching. So I, I went to, uh, to Style Institute, Style Coaching Institute in London, when, uh, that, at that time when I was living in Germany. So I went there and I actually got my, uh, my diploma in, in Style Coaching. So and then that's how I became a, an image coach. This is actually how I started, helping women to, to, to look and feel better about themselves because the thing is that if you are not feeling confident, the only thing that you can that a woman can do that can guarantee immediate results is actually improving the way that we can that that that, that we look like you know maybe putting on makeup so that we can feel we can look prettier, um, changing the way that we look, and this is actually how we can actually bring out bring out this this feeling you know of 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 uh, of being of being beautiful, being pretty. See, and you know, it's also actually it helps to actually boost boost your confidence. And of course, during the entire period when I was actually doing that as an image coach, I realized that some of my clients, um, the, the, the misconception, the misconception was that people who come to me who would require image coaching are people who, who are very bad dresser or people who you know who, who are just have no sense of style at all. But to be very frank, it's actually not the case. Um, there are many, many beautiful, beautiful women who came to me and, you know, wanting to actually change their image. Uh, some of them wanted to improve their image so to be able to go with, uh, with, 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 with their job. You know, so there were, there, were, there were women who were looking for uh, to actually dress more powerfully uh, to show their authority when they are gunning for a promotion, for example. Uh, ladies who are freshly out from schools who want to look presentable and leave a lasting impression when they go for a job interview. Uh, as well as, you know, women who are actually in transition between jobs. Uh, I, I had this particular lady who was very, she was actually an accountant and then she wanted to, to go into marketing and then she wants to dress up, you know, more, more vibrant, you know, to show her personality uh, and to get the job in, in marketing. That was how it started. But the things that, the, oh, only this particular trigger, this particular lady was, that really 
he changed the way that I think and changed the way that I, I conduct uh, my, 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 my coaching business. Um, she wrote to me that she, she said that she wanted to be, she wanted to, to look more demure. And I wonder why. So when, when, we, when we met up, I, was look, I looked at her and I was like, wow, she is incredible. She is stunning. And uh, she has this air of sexiness around her. And I just wonder why would she want to actually change all of that, you know, and want to look more demure. And as the conversation went on, I, she shared that because she hasn't been lucky in love, she wanted to be able to, to, to dress more demurely to, uh, to attract husband materials. The men that she had dated, uh, ex-boyfriends, you know, they all wanted nothing to, they, 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 don't, they are not the marrying type. And then she didn't, she felt that perhaps by changing her image, she's able to finally attract someone and settle down and to start a family. And then throughout the conversation, it dawned on me that it is actually not the way she looked, but it's actually the way how she looked at herself that kind of is a form of self-sabotaging because she didn't feel that she was good enough. So unconsciously, subconsciously, she was looking out. She was looking out for, for bad boys because that was how she felt that, that was, those bad boys were the type of men that she, that she, uh, she deserved. So it's quite unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. And because I didn't have the skill set, I didn't have the skill set at that time to be able to help her and, and to help her to actually feel more confident from the inside. So I said, well, since you are, I felt that at that time, okay, since you, she approached me and uh, asked me to help her uh, to change her image, change the way that she dressed to look more demure, then that was what I was doing. Then, then that was what I, I did. I, I, that was what I should be doing, in fact. So um, I, I taught her and gave her some of the, the tips as an image coach. And I, I didn't hear from her after that. You know, I often, often, often wonder what had happened. You know, whether if she finally did find the right guy, did she actually find true love in the end? I don't know. But that incident really changed me. And... Then I realized that what I'm doing is actually helping women to feel more confident because it all stemmed from the fact that I wasn't feeling confident myself when I was growing up. So that is how I, I actually rebrand myself uh, as a confidence coach, being you know, um, partially due to my childhood and partially due to how I saw myself, the you know the negative self image that uh, that I view myself growing up. So. You know, whatever you see right now, and, and thank you, Richard, for saying that I, I, I'm, I look like a confident, beautiful swan right now. And uh, this is actually a journey that I've been through, and I would like to be able to share that journey. And that's the reason why uh, I'm doing what I'm doing right now. So today, I want to talk a little bit about um, confidence, because how confidence, uh, the lack of confidence actually led me down to my downward spiral. Um, I, 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 I met, I, I found validation from i uh, saw validations from from boys at that time when i was younger and that ended up that i actually marrying the wrong man and and i lived over 10 years in in a very bad marriage and a coach a coach helped me to find myself again and to regain my confidence and because of what she did for me and that was the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing right now so um, let's, let's talk about confidence, shall we? You know, I've actually gone on for about you know, a, 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 a good damn 15 minutes or so. So let's talk a little bit about confidence. You know, when people talk about confidence, they, 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 the first thing that comes to your mind, to, to, to everybody's mind, would be you know, someone who is standing tall, walking straight, and be able to speak with clear um, pronunciation, pron pronouncing their, their words clearly. And to be very frank, um, these are some of those. But at the same time, not speaking clearly and, and, and not uh, being able to express themselves clearly has not has got to do. It has a, it, it isn't a lack of confidence. I mean, as you can see, actually, I I I actually stumble quite a fair bit as well. Um, it's not a lack of confidence, but it's actually you know the the 
the lack of understanding uh, a person, that's actually what it is. Okay, maybe I can just share with you, um, you know, what I've actually found out. Because, okay, um, I just, I just love my train of thought. Okay, the, 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 the thing about me is, when I think about something, I have to get it out very, very quickly. If not, I'll just, I, I just, I just lose, it, lose it. So, okay, there's this concept, think, feel, and do. How to actually be a little bit more confident is what you think will actually affect how you feel and how you feel will affect what you do in the end. So if you think that I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it, if you think that I'm not good enough, and then you will feel less confident and then you will actually start to make a mistake and as i'm telling you this i'm actually recalling the notes that i that i actually have uh written down previously on what are the the points to actually to share with you today and i decided to take my note away because i don't want to be keep looking down referring to my notes because i like to be able to introduce um to, to interact with all of you uh and also the Another thing about um, self, self-love is also an, another thing that uh, I would like to also share and actually touch on um, as, a, as a topic as well for today. When, when people talk about self-love, the first thing that they think about is, oh, okay, perhaps uh, I love myself means I, I will buy, buy things for myself. I will um, buy, because ladies, you know, maybe I, I will do um, cosmetics. I will buy more cosmetics, I will buy skincare, all this. This is actually part of self-love. But I realize when I ask someone something, I will ask this particular question. Do you love yourself? What is your answer? Let's see. Do you love yourself? A lot of the times, people find it, they actually stumble. They don't really know how to say it. Some of you are like, yeah, 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 I think, yeah, 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 I, I do, I do, I, I do, I do love myself. And then the next question is, how do you love yourself? It's hard to actually answer, isn't it? Because the thing is, we think we know that we have to love ourselves, do we actually feel it? Remember earlier I said, think, feel, and do. We think that we love ourselves. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know, of course I do. I, I, I love myself. But how do, do we actually feel this self-love? This is something that I would like to, uh, to, to share and also like to implore you to, do, start, to start thinking and start feeling as well. A lot of the times when, when uh, we, are, we are thinking, but we are not feeling, they were unable to do. So confidence, we all know that we, we, we need to feel it, that, 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 that we, need to, to, need, we need to be, or rather, that we need to be confident. But however, a lot of the times we are unable to feel it. Do you feel it? <laughs> Interesting, huh? Yeah. So, um, how, how can you be a bit more confident? The first thing that you can do is to, to start noting down the attributes, the positive attributes that you have with yourself. Because a lot of the times when we feel we don't really feel confidence is because we have doubts. We 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 don't really know what we are what, what 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 we are good at, and also, also, we we tend to be overly humble with ourselves. But a lot of the times, when I ask a client, "Do you feel beautiful?" the politically correct answer that they always give is. I think I, I look pretty okay. No one that I've met that's thus far and, and say, yes, I am.
partly because there is always this societal pressure from others to make us feel that you know we shouldn't say it because if not we are too boastful. And I would like to invite you and implore to you to stop thinking this way. The first step of being confident is to, to note it down and say, I am, and recognize that you are, that you are beautiful. Because for those who are religious, for me, God made me this way and God made me 100% beautiful. So the first step is to recognize that yes, we have flaws, but we also have a lot of positive attributes. The first thing that you can do is to write down what are the positive things that you can say about yourself. If you have no idea, and that's fine. You can actually solicit and ask people how they feel about you. I bet a lot of you are like, oh, what if I ask someone and then they give me negative comments? It's all right. It's all right. It's okay to have the negative comment. But the thing is, those negative comments from all these people do not define you. Because a lot of the times, we as human beings, we tend to focus on the negative and we tend not to focus on the positive. And so when someone comes in and say, okay, I don't think this is this is good, or, or, or they make a, a particular comment that is negative, most of the time we will focus on the negative comment and ignore like the hundreds of the positive ones. Or sometimes when we go like, oh, okay, well, actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. We are, we are not good receivers. And then we, I would like to implore you to, to try to be a good receiver. If someone wants to say something positive about you, say thank you, accept it, internalize it, think, feel, and then accept because this is what other people see you. And we are always, always, always our worst critic. Do you agree? I am. Every morning, I would check myself in the mirror and say, and think, and wonder whether if I've got more lines under my eyes. It's normal. And then when I catch myself doing it, I'm like, ah, nope. Maybe, yeah, this is actually part and parcel. I have to accept it. Or maybe I can start putting on uh, more skin cream in order to delay the signs of aging. But the thing is, you know, we, we, we age end of the day. So it's, it's just part and parcel. It's about how we catch ourselves and, and, and be aware. A lot of the times we are not aware. So, and then another step of uh, feeling conf to, to, to be confident is to actually to Im improve our posture. Because our posture actually affects the way we feel. If you are sitting upright, suddenly everything disconnects. Try it. And if you if you feel that you know if, when you are you're actually walking with your shoulders down, it actually affects your overall breathe, the, the air intake, and then that actually makes you feel a little down, makes you feel a little tired. But when you start to walk upright, your shoulders back, suddenly you're actually walking with a lot of bounce. And that is also another way of feeling confident. Right? And I'm going to share um, the last one about feeling confident. And this is something that you might find it really, really funny. But I find that uh, actually this will be the best thing to do because whatever when you do that you're actually internalizing okay right okay think about the three steps okay think feel and do okay so this is this will be the doing part how to actually be more confident look yourself in the mirror tell your reflection that you love yourself i love you i love you i love your eyes i love your nose i love my mouth I love my lips. I love the way that I look. Tell yourself that you love it. Because a lot of the times, we tell it to the people around us, we forgot to tell ourselves. By doing the three things, the three things is writing down all your positive attributes, sitting and standing tall and walking tall, and telling yourself that you love you, will actually help to improve your confidence immensely. Any questions? I'd like to take some questions on the floor if you are watching.
asking questions. Okay. Well, um, yeah, this is the first time you know, after a very, very long time that I am um, speaking. Because uh, for the past um, 10 episodes has always rather nine because there's another one that I was speaking. The nine, nine episodes I have been doing interviews because I, funny thing about me is I, sometimes I don't like the spotlight on me. So I like to turn the spotlight onto other people. And I'll still continue to do, to do that, to interview uh, inspiring females, female entrepreneurs, to, to hear about their struggles and how they actually overcome their trying. And that's the reason why I call this show Rise with Ken Cocker. How you rise, how you rise from the ashes, how, how you fall to the bottom of the pit and then rise and be the phoenix. But um, I would like to be able to, to share more value with, with you. One of the reasons that I stopped my Facebook Live that I started last year was I didn't have faith, not confidence, but I, I, I didn't have faith that people would be interested in what I have to say with regards to my, to my area of expertise. And of course, you know, being uh, an introvert, which is quite funny, a lot of people thought, say that it's actually quite funny because the point, they, they, they think that I, I'm able to stand in front of the crowd, I'm able to conduct workshop in front of a group of people. I should be more confident, but I, you know, I, I should actually be able to be comfortable with it, it, to be in the spotlight. Unfortunately, um, funny enough, for no reason, I have no idea why, that I, I tend not to, to, to want that. I tend to want to shy away from the spotlight. And it's just this thing about me being introverted, I guess. So I do something that I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm overcoming and I'm overcoming on, on a daily basis as well. Uh, and so this is also um, a very good opportunity and good platform for me to, to overcome that, to be able to continue to share and continue to give value because um, I believe in the power of sharing stories. I believe in the power of uh, hearing other people's stories and other people's struggles and how to overcome. And that's actually how I get inspired to do what I do. And also by, by having this, uh, this series, Rise with Karen Gawker, I would like to be able to share my expertise, my experience because to, 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 to the world. And every single one of you who's actually watching this, and every single one of us, we are all born, born with a mission. And we all have a message to give to the world. And I would like to be able to, to shine the light on each and every one of you. And I really love to have an opportunity to interview you as well on what uh, you are going through and to be able to share your story with the masses and also for me to, to be able to use this platform, I'm very thankful for, for, for Facebook and also for StreamYard for this opportunity to be to come on live on every Thursday to be able to share share more. So, um, you know, if you have a question for me or if you have a specific topic that you would like me to talk about, you know, please do share that with me either on the comments below and and also, you know, how to, or, or you can also get, uh, send, it, send your comment privately to me and you know, to tell me what the things that you would like to like like to learn. Okay, I have an a uh, uh, message coming in. The questions: How do you know what the message is? Yeah, what is the, actually the message, uh, from from God? Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, Patty. Yes, okay, all of us have a message, as I mentioned. How do we know what the message is? Then, um, for. For me, I'd like to share with you how, um, how I knew what the message was. Is for me, it was because I, I prayed and I asked. Whatever your faith is, even if you don't, sometimes the, the best thing is to actually allow your inner voice to come back to you. For me, I felt that my inner, inner, inner voice would be uh, my subconscious, but also, you know, message, mess, uh, messages from the divine, from God itself. For, I, I don't know about your faith, uh, Patty. You, if you are religious, then I would say, pray and ask what, yep, what the message is. 
And if, let's say, for example, for all of you who are actually watching and you do not have a faith um, or a religion, then listen to your inner voice. And the best way to do that is to have a few minutes, about take out about 10 to 15 minutes that you, you can to have this time with yourself. Sit down, a quiet place, close your eyes, and then to feel it. It may not come to you immediately, but if with constant practice, it is, it is like a form of meditation. And I find that really, really empowering. Um, the first thing is, you know, when, when I, just, just to share with all of you how, how, how I actually start my day. I was going to do a little bit of meditation. I said, actually, to actually have this time to just spend time with me and then to feel, to feel my inner voice, to feel and set the, an intention, the intention that what I want to accomplish for the day itself. And then slowly, slowly, as you feel, as you think, as you feel, as you do, then the message will become clearer and clearer each day. I, when I first started out my journey um, as, a, as an image coach, it was out of necessity, also out of interest, and also partly driven by, by this, this need, this need to, to be able to support others because of what I've been through myself. I, I believe that there are other women who were like me who, who may need a, a, a supporting hand or may need a helping hand to get through um, what feeling, feeling, not feeling confident, you know, not, not feeling that they are actually living under the thumbs of, of men and feeling that, you know, they are unable to take the, the, the next step to, to, from unstuck. From, from, from being stuck to actually do, to be unstuck. So there was a coach who was there to actually to help me through. And that was, that was what I would like to actually to, to pass it on, uh, to pay it forward and to, to help other women to, to do the same as well, what she did for me. So, and, and this whole journey took me some time to actually to realize, you know, as I was doing what this, what this message is. For me in the beginning was just something I feel that I want to do. And then as I start to, to, to take the next step and trying to improve myself, and then that's where the message becomes clearer and clearer each day. Um, well, the, the, the journey took me quite some time. And also because I wasn't very coachable, there are times that I had a lot of doubts. And there were times that uh, I, I saw the sign, but I chose to ignore it. Um, and also there was also a period of time when I was busy parenting. So I actually put a stop and I wasn't listen, listening to my inner voice wasn't listening to so-called, you know, purpose. The thing is, a lot of people feel that, you know, they, they need to like know this, what is my life purpose and they need to have an important message and they need to, have, they need to know that, you know, this is my life purpose. I must find my life purpose, then I, I'm, I'm able to do so. But the thing, the thing is, a lot of people who have gone through their life, successful people, they may not necessarily know what their purpose really is. And, um, then the things that because the purpose uh, actually uh, and, and, and the, the why actually evolve as we move on to different phases of our life. How what we started will be 100% different, totally, totally, totally different from, from what we eventually end up doing. So, um, Patty, if you'd like to, to have uh, some help to find out, you know, how do you know what is your message? I will be very happy to, to speak to you privately on, on this topic. So um, that's actually what I, will, I would love to share. Thank you for indulging me uh, on a week-by-week -week basis. You know, uh, yeah, today is episode 11. Um, next week, I am I'm actually putting, a, putting aside time to to go through in details what are the things that I would actually like to bring to the table and to continue sharing value. But, uh, you know, just since I'm actually on today, this is actually on Thursday on the 2nd of July. Uh, for ladies, I would like to openly invite you that, uh, to this virtual fun fest that um, I'll be doing on Saturday itself. Uh, um, it's actually a virtual fun fest that is um, created, oh, it's actually a collaborative effort with uh, three groups. Uh, I have my own group, uh, the Soul Wonder. Soul Wonder. And then uh, this group, uh, She Network from Malaysia, and also Women Well Wellness Network in Singapore. So all of these three networks will come together. We decided to do something really, really fun for women. It's actually an activity, a fun event for women, uh, by women. So it starts from 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. And then every hour, we, we have some activities that are actually fun. 
from belly dancing, from breathing exercises. And then I will be taking on the, the one o'clock segment from one to two o'clock. I will be will be uh, sharing skincare and makeup. You know, you know we are, we're all we're all ladies and then we can we can have some fun. It will be a hands-on session using uh you know sponsored uh, makeup products from uh, from the feisty cheek. And, and also from a sector cosmetics. I will be teaching you how to actually do skincare, makeup, and uh, you know, no, that's, that's, that's some fun. And then do, 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 this is actually where you can actually, uh, let me just put it into the banner here. She has fun.eventbrite.com. You can register because this is, this is a women's only event, unfortunately. Sorry, guys, but uh, we need registration because you want to verify your identity. So this would be she has fun.eventbrite.com to actually to register. And the things that once you register for this event, ladies, you will be given this discount code. So that $2 discount code from uh, the Feisty Cheek for that stain wing eyeliner. This is that's where I'm I'm gonna be doing this hands-on makeup and skincare uh live, you know, online uh via Zoom. For at, at this fun fest at this so, and then you know the day will actually end with this nutritionist Joanne she would be making delicious home cooked food and you can actually get some inspiration from her to to prepare a nutritious meal for your family so uh, with that I thank you again you know, to that uh, you are tuning in and if you like to get in touch with me you can. Uh, in touch with me here on this link bitly.clarity call carol to find out how to what is what's the step that you can take to actually feel more confident about yourself what is actually the next step that you can take to be to be able to actually love yourself a little more right so this is actually what i do um in terms of of helping you to actually take the next step in life so i'm, I'm more than happy to uh, to connect with you uh, offline as well so you know do, do feel free to leave a leave a comment uh, below on the on, on this video or um, send me a private message on uh, what are the topics that you would like me to talk about relating to the work i do relating to image relating to skincare makeup and relating to you know how you're going to be taking the next step actually to build author your, your authority and as a you know as as an entrepreneur and how to actually build your brand in in the corporate world how to get noticed how are you how how to actually walk how to actually improve your image so that you get noticed and get the promotion that you want so yes and for that i will actually end the show today thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for hanging out with me on a thursday at 10 o'clock so this is carol here and this is rise with carol gawker and with that i shall sign off have a good evening and have a wonderful wonderful weekend see you next week. Bye-bye.